Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video we'll be doing the review for the Xiaomi Mi Router 3C which is a budget oriented router from Xiaomi and this product sells in India for 1200 rupees and this is a basic uh, Wi-Fi router that works on the 2.4 gigahertz band and I've been testing this router now for the last seven days and I'll show you its interface how it works and functions and we'll also compare it with some other budget oriented routers like Asus or the TP-Link routers that I have reviewed earlier so let's have a closer look at this router now in terms of what we get in the box we don't get uh, too much we just get the router itself and the power adapter uh, let me show you the router now let me take out uh, and as you can see the biggest thing that you'll notice with this router is that how sleek and light it is and it has a lot of vents at the bottom to dissipate the heat and it does not uh, heat up and it has four antennas uh, if you notice and these are quite uh, big considering it's a budget oriented uh, router we also get some uh, basic uh, manual uh, with the this one and uh, we have a QR code uh, you just scan this QR code and you get the app and this is the power brick that we get with the router so that's what we get in the router not that much and let me actually show you the physical overview of the router uh, we have the power uh, socket and we have the WAN port for your internet connection uh, do note uh, it's a 100 megabit port not a gigabit port so if you have internet connection speeds over 100 megabit this router will not work for you and uh, if you have a DSL connection you have to still use a modem to connect to this uh, router and apart from that we also have uh two LAN ports on this uh, router. Here I feel uh, Xiaomi cheaped out a little bit because even in other budget oriented routers, we do get at least four LAN ports. But on this uh, Mi router, we just get two LAN ports. So that is regarding the physical overview of the router. And we also don't have any USB uh, ports on this uh, router as you can see. And I connected this uh, router to my ATEL internet connection, which is a VDSL uh, connection having a speed of 16 megabit download and to about 2.7 megabit upload speeds. And to configure the router, you have to just download the Mi Wi-Fi app that you can download using the QR code that's available on iOS and even from the Google Play Store. And uh, you just invoke the same. Let me do the same. And it automatically finds your router and configures it. I've already done that. And you see this first screen which displays all the devices that are connected to your router. And on the top, it gives you real-time activity, uh, what is getting downloaded, what is the upload and etc. And you can even, uh, let's say, uh, block certain devices if you don't want connection for example I have blocked uh, one of those HTC phones from the router and it's very easy to do that you just click on that and you can deny access to a particular device if you want that let me just go back and if you click on this plugins option you have a lot of uh, options that are provided on this router as you can see so we have access to a lot of settings uh, from here and uh, we can also adjust our network settings and this router can also act as a repeater some of you have asked me you can certainly do that uh, these are some of the other options that are provided uh, on the router we also have a web interface I'll show you that later but you can actually control the entire router from this uh, simple app and it works uh, very well let me show you some other options some of you are asking about that uh, repeater mode you can set that from this internet uh, mode settings uh, right now I'm using it as a traditional router uh, but there is a setting over here and the app is not super uh, reliable sometimes you have to hit the same option twice to get it for example it's showing us an error but this worked earlier for example if I just go back it should actually work so let's just go back once on this no it's not working uh, let's just go back and click uh, now as you can see it's working and now it's allowing us to switch the mode so the app is a little bit buggy uh, that way the web interface is a lot better and from here you can actually change the mode of the router as you can see if you want to set it as a wireless repeater you can actually do that now let me also show you the uh, web interface of this uh, router so you can also control this Wi-Fi router traditionally from the web interface. This is the login screen and you just log in with your Wi-Fi password that you had set earlier. And uh, this is the interface uh, that you will get. And on this pane, it will show you the devices that are connected currently and it will give you the list. Uh, of the same so it's easy to identify and uh, this area shows you the activity current activity how much is the download in the upload stream on uh, uh, 
uh, your router and this shows you the CPU graph and this shows you the RAM uh, usage. Don't have to worry about it but yes it's nice to see that uh, this is offered. If you go towards the settings you have uh, other options over here like your traditional Wi-Fi settings and other stuff that we have here and by default one thing that I have noticed regarding the Wi-Fi range is by default uh, this is set at standard and when it was set at standard the Wi-Fi uh, range performance was just average like normal routers but when I enable this wall penetration it really improved the uh, Wi-Fi performance it gives a lot more range so if you want extra range uh, from standard move to this wall penetration option another good thing is that this uh, router also has uh, guest Wi-Fi option so if you have guest you can enable this so that's a nice option that you have when we move to advanced uh, we have QoS option and from here you can also test your broadband speed for example if you click this it will try to detect your internet speeds automatically uh, so we have the DDNS options also over here and port forwarding so again it's a uh, pretty full functional uh, router for the price what you are getting uh, you don't have to use this web interface because uh, you can actually control almost everything via the uh, mobile app but you do have the option of configuring this router via this web interface so what do i feel about this xiaomi uh, router first let's talk about the performance of the router which is the most important part and as this is a single band uh, 2.4 gigahertz uh, router again in terms of wi-fi performance the wi-fi performance was actually good and when you compare it to similar priced uh, budget oriented routers from asus or tp link i have to say the wi-fi performance was slightly better i would say anywhere between 15 to 20 percent better coverage compared to other uh, budget uh, oriented uh, routers so in terms of wi-fi performance i did not have any issues but again guys do understand this is a budget oriented router that works uh, only on the 2.4 gigahertz band so if you have very high speed internet connections that's over 50 megabit or something like that then i would not recommend you this router uh, because uh, the 2.4 gigahertz band is simply not good enough for those kinds of speeds above 50 megabit or so you need dual band router sadly this is a single band router but but again considering the price point of this uh, device for what it offers and the uh, web uh, interface and the fully functional app using which you can control the router this has to be one of the best budget oriented uh, routers that you can get if you are on a very tight budget and uh, yes i know this is a, a budget oriented router there is another router that xiaomi has that is known as the mi router 3 but they do not sell that one as of now in india and i hope uh, xiaomi launches that router also in india because that one is a dual band router and that also has a usb port yes i know that router would be um, far more expensive than this one possibly almost twice the cost of this one but again uh, i feel xiaomi should also launch a dual band router in the indian market again uh, as of now if you are on a very tight budget and if you're looking for a budget oriented router i can strongly recommend this uh, me wi-fi router again i hope you found this uh, video review helpful if you found it helpful i'll appreciate it if you can click the like button and if you're still not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button thanks for watching this is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.